up search fam Sharday here welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is Sharday I am a travel and lifestyle vlogger among other things and I show you how to travel smarter pack lighter and search deep within yourselves so if you would for me hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and be made aware of every time I post a new video and become part of my internet family. For those of you who have recently subscribed and my OG subscribers, thank you so much. I love having you here, even though school has been taking me down. But today I have a haul of stationary items because if you did not know about me, I love stationary pens. I have a problem with journals. I actually started bullet journaling and if you have not seen my bullet journal walkthrough videos I'll link them somewhere up here um, because I started doing that as well in the panorama um, <laughs> but I purchased some new things over the last month or so uh, for continuation of things bullet journal whatnots and you know just journaly items yep so I mean I'm not gonna hold you let's go on and get into it first this Lee first this Lee I got um, a couple of new journals that I have not unboxed yet like I have been holding on to them just so I could unbox them with you I did take the plastic off because me the fumbling around with the plastic would not have been we would have been here all day um, so I'm gonna start out with Archer and Olive um, so I get my notebooks for my bullet journaling and things from two places, either Notebook Therapy or Archer and Olive. They are just super good quality. What I love about Archer and Olive though is that they are also uh, environmentally friendly and somewhat sustainable. So I do appreciate that um, and it's a small business. So I got the Archer and Olive Traveler's Notebook, which is probably one of my favorite notebooks ever. The size is just amazing. So we're just going to go on and take it out the box. Ooh, so pretty all right so I got the traveler's journal in the green with this um, leafy uh, emblem in it and it has a 144 pages it has 160 GSM paper which is great for bullet journaling if you want to do watercolors or whatever I use these um, for my herb notes I have started herbalism and I am trying to learn as much as I can about herbs and things like that and all kinds of other witchy things. So I usually use, this is going to be my second note journal. I went through one in like a month and a half because <laughs> I was taking feverish notes. So I'm super excited about this. The cover is linen. Um, so it's a linen cover. It has a pen holder, which is fantastic. And you can't see it because I haven't opened it. I guess we'll open it. Hold on. Yeah. So it also has this beautiful... Um, bookmarks one has the archer and olive symbol on it and it isn't my favorite color my favorite color is green so this deep emerald green is just my heart um so i'm super excited to use this my the other notebook i got is from notebook therapy which is what my present bullet journal is i've been doing my last few bullet journals in notebook therapy notebooks I just love the designs on them but this notebook is a b5 notebook so that's like uh six by nine ish I think um but I usually do my bullet journaling in an a5 or something around that size but here we go the ASM. Ooh, okay this one is actually linen too oh that's lovely so this is the uh, I guess it's called the falling star journal and it's like I said the b5 it has a linen cover which is interesting because my last two olive and art or my last two notebook therapy journals were a leatherette pleathery cover so this is nice oh look at that that's so beautiful crazy um so i am super excited about this and it's a uh, the suki falling star edition and they usually yep there it is hold on they always come with a cute little um 
bookmarker type situation. I can't think of the name. So, oh, this is really cute. So I'm very excited about this. This is going to be just a big writing journal for me. I'm very excited. I actually got one more item from Notebook Therapy. It took forever to get here because this one actually shipped from China. And I got um, midliner highlighter markers. And like the brush pens that you use for bullet journaling, it has a bold tip and a fine tip. And these are all pastel -y colors, which is very cool. They are open because I have used them um, for my reading journal, which also, if you have not seen my reading journal walkthrough, I will link it above. Um, so yeah, I like these. I'm looking forward to using these a lot more, um, far different than the other colors I have in my Tombow. Speaking of Tombows, I got... Uh, another set of Tombow dual brush pens. I think one of the pens is missing because I'm using it. But I got these are like uh, skin tone neutrals. Um, I'm actually these are very cool. I got these for the start of this year's bullet journal slash when I did my mom's bullet journal because I did a bullet journal for my mom. So these are these are super cool. I love the Tombow pens. They're just really good quality, and I tend to like to get them in the packs because it's cheaper than buying them individually but you can buy them individually on michael's which is also kind of helpful but if you want to get them all in a pack sometimes you can get them for a bit cheaper um from amazon i got two things so stamping is a thing with bullet journaling and so i bought um which i have been using a set of what's upside down um a set of typewriter font stamps and i bought a smaller um acrylic base for them so this is not that big of a deal but i have a large base that was a little bit cumbersome when it came to like lettering so i bought a smaller one and i think i paid maybe 20 dollars for both of these things um the last thing no it's not the last thing next thing i got is washi tape so <laughs> I love washi tape uh, because it is an easy way to add really nice details to things. So I bought fancy washi tape uh, from the washi tape store, which I am very excited about and have been using some of them. So I bought one. This one's not open, but it is um, hand, write, le hand lettering, like so it's cursive, very pretty cursive. So I am excited to use this, although I have been using this one. This is an old vintage map washi tape and it is actually so pretty and it's very wide so that was really cool um i was able to do a lot of like jagged edges and things like that for one of my mom's bullet journal themes and i'm going to use this myself at some point the last one i got <laughs> the last one i got is this uh purple beautiful purple galaxy themed washi tape and it came in a set of four but it has constellations on it and it i just it was so pretty. I couldn't help myself. So, yeah. I have a problem. <laughs> the last thing I got uh, was from Redbubble. And if you have not seen me uh, talk about Redbubble before, it's a place where you can get prints and things like that. So, I order stickers usually. Uh, stickers for my laptop or, you know, journals, whatever the case may be. So, I bought some stickers to go on my new journals and my new bullet journals and my reading journal and things like that um which i kind of opened but it's sticky so yeah so i bought a whole bunch of stickers from uh from red bubble and i think i only spent like 20 bucks but some of my favorites are these that are from the artist gdb she's a black woman artist and her things are beautiful so i'm excited about these um and using them to decorate and then let's see what else i got, I got some nerdy ones so like sailor pluto from sailor moon and doctor who which i am very very excited about using these and i think i spent like 18 bucks um because they do have this really cool thing where you can find all sorts of artists work and put them on stickers but the more stickers you buy, the more you get off. So I think if you buy over, over like eight, it's 50% off. So I ended up getting 10 stickers for like under 20 bucks. So there's that. All right. That's my little haul. 
I hope you enjoyed it and that you saw some things that you might have liked. I'll link them all down below in the description box. As always, friends, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.